Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be doing savings challenges that help me uh, fund my long-term sinking funds. And I have a few little goodies. Me and my mom went to the thrift store yesterday because at the beginning of the month, this uh, thrift store has um, a section of clothing that is only a dollar. And I did get a few things. I got, I think, three items. I think I got a jean jacket, um, the shawl that's kind of like a, um, it's kind of wool material and it's uh black and red and then what else did i get i got like kind of a casual sweatshirt that says something like be kind or something like that but then i um, found this little box so i thought i'd put my little dice in this wooden box and i did find this little dish too that i'll probably use in my videos too so i thought this was super cute and these were only like two dollars that i found and then i am going to probably do a video but my grandma loved jewelry and um, she passed away a couple years ago and we still have all of our jewelry and all of us went over to my aunt's house this last weekend and we got to pick out whatever we wanted. Um, so let's just say I got a big stash of um, stuff that reminds me of my grandma and some jewelry that I do plan on wearing. But, um, you know, people acted like they didn't want these little pins or like little um, pins and I did get a whole bunch of them because I thought they'd be cute in my video. And I just, I think they're pretty, even though I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them. Um, so I got this one. I thought this um, blue was super cute. And then um, this blue one was really pretty too. So I got those and I thought I could use them in my videos or just kind of have them sitting on my desk to remind me of my grandma. Um, but yeah, I plan on doing a video to show you all of her cool jewelry. I mean, it's not like anything that's probably worth anything um but it's just something that reminds me of my grandma and it was something that i did as a kid where i just would spend hours looking through her jewelry so let's get started um we're working with eight hundred dollars one two three four five six six fifty six seventy six ninety uh seven ten seven thirty seven fifty seven sixty seven seventy seven eighty seven ninety 792, 94, 96, 98, 99, 800. <clears throat> so I do have my envelope here for if we finish any savings challenges today. I am going to include it in all my videos that I'm um, doing savings challenges in. And if we finish one, we add a dollar for it. And if you would like that envelope, um, Donna from Donna Powered by Creativity has it linked in her freebies folder um so it's free for anybody to participate in and let's see here let me get this situated and let me get out my bell my there we go and let's see here let me get this set up and i'll be right back all right let's go ahead and start with this one and i do plan on um finishing quite a few challenges today just because i want to start with some new ones um this year but there are a few that are gonna um still continue into the new year too um but let's go ahead and finish this one and each pot is five dollars so five ten fifteen twenty twenty five and i think we would be able to Let's put in a 25 and then I can condense 25 and we'll condense after I get this colored in. All right, we got that all finished and um, we should have 150. One, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, wait, 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, 145, 150, and let's go ahead and swap this out for that 100, and we have one finished, ring the bell, and I think I had a good idea from a viewer. I was putting real money in here, but I think I am going to be saving this to the end of the year. So I think I'm going to swap that out for prop. And then at the end of the year, um, we can see how many challenges we finished and we will go ahead and then transfer that money into wherever I feel like um, 
I haven't really decided where I want that money to go to. So, so far we have one, two, three. So let's pull the $3 in real cash and put in $3 a prop. And we also need to add one more for finishing that one. So let's go ahead and put that in our envelope. And set that back to the side. And we have one finished challenge. And this is by Jamie, uh, Jamie's Realistic Life. Okay, let's work on this one. Let me get a dice out. And let's see if we can make it through the board here. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So that is one dollar. Let's just pull it. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So we have six. Um, let's see here. Put this one back. Four. One, two, three, four. And this one means white out conditions, roll D12 or two regular dice to determine the amount saved. So let's get our D12. It's this one here. And we saved a 12. So let's write that here. And I will pull a 10 and a two. Three, one, two, three. So that is another five. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we ended, got to the end there, and we are going to be adding in 10, 15, 20, 22, 24 to this one. And so far we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 82, 84, 86, 87. Let's condense this. I may need these smaller ones. So 87. So 50, 67, the 85, 67, 87 still in here. Okay. What do we got next here? I have this challenge by Donna powered by creativity. And let's go ahead and put in why don't we do 40? So I'll do this 20 and this 20 for $40. 20, 40. And so far this has 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2. 200 in here. I'm not for sure what this is going to add up to. All right, here is another one that we are going to go ahead and finish. And we need $60, 20, 40, 60. So 50, 60 to finish it. And we just need to do these last 20s here. And I do plan on hopefully, I don't think that's the right green. Um, I've had a few questions about the the. Uh, half a beef we're getting. Usually how it goes is um, the farmer will let me know what he's charging per pound and then it kind of depends on what it weighs at the locker. So it kind of depends on what that uh, specific beef weighs and um, they'll split the meat up you know in half. I'll get a half of it and then I will pay the farmer whatever he's charging per pound and then um, I will have to pay the locker for processing the beef. So I will let you guys know um, what that ends up breaking down to. And we should be able to get be getting our beef, I don't know, I would say within a, a month, a month or two, depending on when the locker can get to it. And let's add this in and see what we ended up getting on this challenge. We have five, six, seven, eight, eight fifty, nine, nine fifty, a thousand, fifty, seventy, ninety, one ten, one thirty, one fifty, one seventy, one eighty, one ninety, two hundred, ten, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty five, fifty, fifty five, fifty seven, fifty nine, sixty. So I think I said twelve sixty. 
And let's um, condense this a little bit here. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. Seven, nine, ten. I should have done that before I counted it. I want to double check here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, fifty, twelve, sixty. I guess I didn't realize I had an odd number of fifties. Yep. So 1260, and that is another one finished. And we'll pull another dollar and add it to my completed challenge envelope. And I'll set this one to the side. On this one, I think I'm gonna try to um, pull four cards. So we have a face card, so this is gonna be 30 because you double it, 40. 45, 50, 60. So I believe that would be 60. And let's just go one more. And that would be another 10, which is perfect. Because I need to save about $80 a week to make sure we have funds for our um, car insurance premium. So let's see. <clears throat> so 50, 70. And I will get these colored in here. And let's see what we have total in here. One, two, three, three fifty, four, four fifty, four seventy, four ninety, five ten, five thirty, five fifty, five sixty, five seventy so far in here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put I think a hundred dollars in my mandala challenge here, and I will get four twenty fives colored in. Okay, I have that colored in, and let's add the 100 in and see what we have. 1,000, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 50, 19, 70 so far in this challenge. All right, on this one, we are going to go ahead and try to finish this one out. And let's roll a D6, and we get a 5, a 2, 3, Three and a five. So that is 10, 16, 18. So $18 going in here. And let's just grab a 20, put the two back. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 72, 74, 76, 77 is what we ended up with in here. So let me write that down. 77 saved and that is another challenge finished ring the bell and we'll add a dollar to my completed challenge envelope and i will set this one aside for medical uh, money manas we are actually going to finish this one too and we added zeros to the end of these so this is going to be 40 and 40 which is going to be 80 so 20 40 60 80 we are adding to this one and I will get the last two fours colored in. I did really like this challenge. Um, I probably will do it again in the future, but I have a couple other really cute medical ones or challenges that I want to use for my medical savings. So I'll probably rotate through them and then come back to this one because the ones that I have coming up, I'll probably always rotate through because I absolutely love them and you will see them in my upcoming videos so let's go ahead and add the 80 and we have 2021 22 22 20 22 40 22 
60, 22, 80, 23, 20, 40, 60, 80, 24, 24, 20, 24, 30, 24, 40 is what we ended up saving, which is an awesome amount um, due to us needing to contribute to our health savings account for uh, 2024. Um, we can put in another 7,750 and we almost have that saved. So that doesn't really need to go in by a specific time. Um, we just have to have it for tax purposes. We would have to have that total amount contributed sometime during the year of 2024, but I almost have it completely saved um, to fully fund it. We always try to save the year before. So I will write that down. I will count this off camera because I forgot what I said and I will get to the next challenge here. Okay, we're gonna finish this one too, and I <clears throat> figured out I figured it out beforehand, and I think I need 160, but we can count it again. The C's are 10s, A's are 5, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 160. Yep, 160. One, 20, 40, 60, and that's going to be another one finished, so ring the bell. I can't remember if I did it on the other, um, the other one, but we'll figure it out. We had $3 in here to start with, so um, we will go through at the end and see how many we finished and see if we contributed that money, and let's see here. I will go ahead and get this all colored in. All right, we got that all colored in, and let's see what this one totaled us. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, twenty, eight, forty, eight, sixty, eight, eighty, eight, ninety, nine hundred. So we saved nine hundred in this one, and we will set this one to the side. All right, we are going to go ahead and finish this one too. And I did go ahead and figure this out ahead of time. I'm pretty sure we need $71, but I can go through and um, see if that is correct. Yep, 71. So 20, 40, 60, 70. And let me see if I have a dollar here. I do. Okay. And let's add that in. In total, we have one, 20, 40, 60, 80, two, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, three, 5, 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 315 is what we saved on this one. And let's go ahead. We might as well just go ahead and mark all these off. All right. We got that all marked off and we got it complete. Ring the bell. And we got to put another dollar in here. Awesome. So I almost should put a tracker in here so that way at the end of each video I can say what our balance is. So if I think I forgot <laughs> to put a dollar in there, um, I can um, figure that out. So that is a, another one finished. We're just knocking them out today, which feels really, really good. Um, and I had that one going to like my home maintenance, I think. But I'll do a video where I allocate all these funds too. So what do I have left? I have my little piggy and I have this coloring one. At the end here, and how much do I have left? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52. So let's save the $2 for my piggy. Let's put the last $50 in here. And I will uh, get this all figured out. OK, 
Okay, <clears throat> I got $50 colored in on this. And let's see what we have here. <clears throat> 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 67, 69, 71, 73, 75, 77, 79, 81, 83, 85, 87, 89, 91, 93, 95, 97, 98, 99. So I think 299 so far in here. All right, I'm going to insert a clip here of me um, adding in the $100 that I totally spaced out when I initially was doing this challenge. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, color it and I'll insert it into the video here. There we go, another $100 colored in. We are gonna put our last $2 in here. And let's grab that out. One, two, three, 320, 340. 342, 344, 345, 346, 347, 348, 349. And let's go through and see what we finished here. We knocked out this chessboard game for $315. Um, we did the color by savings from Living Simple Studio for 900. The Medical Money Madness is also by Living Simple Studio and that gave us 2,440. This challenge by Frugality is Life and Citizen Budgeting Journey gave us 77. Willy Wonka gave us 1,260. And the uh, vet visit one gave us 150. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we finished six challenges. We already had three in here. So we should have $9 in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one. It really doesn't matter. We're just going to put in a prop money in here. And to be honest, that's what I should do. I shouldn't even take it out of like my budgeted amount. I should just um, put it in prop money and then at the end of whenever I want to do it, whether I want to do it quarterly or however I'm going to do it, I will take whatever is in here um, that signifies a completed challenge and then transfer that to a fund of what I pick. I'll probably do it quarterly. That kind of sounds like a good idea. We can keep track of how many challenges we're finishing quarterly. So um, that is it. That is all that I have for you. I will probably be bringing in some new challenges uh, next week since we finished so many. And yeah, so that is it. And I'll probably talk to you on, I think my next video will be Saturday. So I will talk to you then. Bye.